I want to spend 20 million credits. Oh, what should we start with? Welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 and the end of GT7. Luca, the time has finally come. It's time for you to try your hand at the pinnacle of racing World GT Series. Be mindful that this championship, the PP limit will be set to 800. The really nice thing about this championship is we can get some massive money. We're going to be driving on some of the best circuits in this game in some of the fastest cars in this game. As this is like the final championship, I think we need to do it in a very, very special car, which is why we're going to start today's episode with a visit to the legendary car dealer Mazda 787B. It is a beautiful looking car with an even better soundtrack. Officially the most expensive car I have ever ever bought in this game and oh boy is it a good one <laughs> so right now i'm actually on racing medium tires we're probably gonna want those we'll come back to that in a second but i'm also gonna get some of these heavy wet weather tires we're also gonna want some racing hard tires to bring our pp down a little bit i mean it's hard to bring your pp down when you're looking at a 787b we are also gonna want some ballast and a power restrictor we are looking good now we've got our 787 B down into 800 PP level. We have five different races and they're gonna be some pretty good ones. <gasps> There's water all over my- hold on! Welcome back to another episode of AR12 Streams. Where Nick does cleaning. God damn it, there's water on everything! There's water on me! Back to Gran Turismo! <laughs> That's a noise. That's a good noise. So for those of you who don't know, the 787B features one of the most unique engines of all time, and it's... It's got more horsepower than I thought it did with the restrictor plate on. What I was gonna say is this engine is called the Wankel. Yeah, it's a wankle rotary. Love a good wankle. Anyways, let's go. Let's see what this thing can do. We're going to be chasing down a whole bunch of group three cars. So we've got to push this thing. We've got to go. Whoa, there's a lot of understeer. Jeez. Come on. Whoa, look at the Ford GT sparking up there. Come on. Reel all of the AI in. We're up to P14. 28 seconds behind the guy in first. Whoa, that's so late on the brakes, this thing. It's very good to drive. The sun is already coming up here. There we go, nice purple sector. Thank you. It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> I love this thing. The sound is not gonna win me some dollar dollar bills. We've gotta reel everybody in. Up to sixth place, we've gone past the Supra there. We are only 14 seconds now behind the guy in first. We're actually gaining way faster than I thought we would. One thing I noticed with this 787B, if you get it into dirty air kind of behind people, going through some like slow-ish corners, you end up losing all of your downforce and it just slides out. Is that a Subaru? That is the final boss, a Subaru STI. I actually broke my Subaru STI yesterday in real life. Um, so we'll just ignore that, but P1. And across the line, very nicely done. That was a very, very good first race. Now we've just got to keep that up. And a hundred thousand credits for that race. That is a good result there. Race number two, five laps around Spa. It doesn't look like it's raining. It looked, okay, never mind. I was about to say it looks like it might rain, but I think we should be okay. Honestly, this car is just so slippery. It's very difficult to drive at low speeds. When you're actually like full throttle, it's it's not a problem. Let's go reel in the Aston. Can I keep it flat through Eau Rouge? It, it, it's a different racing line, but it does work. It's weird to say, but you've actually got way more control when you're doing like 150 miles an hour compared to 50. 23 seconds behind first, 22 seconds behind first. Give me some slipstream lads. That would be 
very helpful. Come on. Look at this absolute traffic jam on Spa. Imagine going out and buying a new Ford GT like Le Mans car and then getting your doors blown off by some boy from the 90s. That's what I've just done. A screamy boy from the 90s. NSX is up next. That NSX actually looks so sick. I love that rear wing on it. Thank you very much, Honda NSX. We will see you never. And again, the Subaru STI is leading everybody. Look at that wide body though. That is ridiculous. Bring it to the line. Let's go 787B. We dodge the rain. That's the most important thing. And we get maximum points again. Another 100,000 credits in the bank. Three laps of Le Mans for race number three. This is gonna be a good one. It looks incredible out there. If you missed the last episode, I basically grinded Le Mans for two hours of my life. So I know this circuit super well now. We should be all good. Let's go past the R8s. Past all of the Subarus. That was Alexis, actually. My bad. Oh, this is where the 787B belongs. I need somebody to slipstream off of, but there is nobody. There is not another car that is the same speed as me. I... Okay, sure. 300, 200, break at the 150 in this, probably. Oh, that's perfect. Follow the AMG. Sorry, that's a tap. See y'all later. Give me the give me the slipstream, bro. Thank you, Supra. Yo, you know what would actually probably been a pretty good upgrade for this thing? Actually getting NOS onto this car? That would not have been a bad call at all. Just saying. Okay, up the inside of you, into the chicane. I feel like it's a proper Le Mans endurance race now. As it turns out, when you take a Le Mans car to Le Mans, uh, it's a little bit OP. By a little bit, I mean incredibly unfair. I'm literally halfway through the first lap, and I'm behind first. And got the Subaru for P1. Oh, that's nice. The brakes are, whoa, good. <laughs> Come on. And Le Mans is fini. <laughs> Merci bucket, 787B. Yo, the Dodge Viper actually came P2. The Subaru that's been starting in first dropped all the way down to fifth. Race number four is down under at Bathurst. The clouds are looking a little bit gray again. I don't know if we're gonna get any rain. I mean, the 787B should be pretty good through here. It might be a little bit wide to, to fit maybe around some of the corners, but whoa, that's cool. That's so cool. Whoop. Almost crashed. Look at that massive cloud on the right-hand side. We might get some rain for this race. I again will bring up the weather radar. It doesn't show anything right now. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous for some of these races. Here we go. Send it. I'm going to need to do a lot of sending. Whoa! The R8 went deep and I followed him deep. That could have been so much worse. Okay, come on. Still only 20 seconds behind the AI. I'm actually not catching enough. My 787B is gonna struggle in these corners as well. It's wide, it's a bit heavy, and it's got a lot of understeer. If I can send it like that, I'll be okay, but again, not confident. See, look at this. On this side of the circuit, it looks beautiful, lovely sunny day. It's only on the left-hand side, it's all sketchy. Basically, I need to overtake everybody on this part of the circuit. So when I get to like the uphill mountain section, I can just kind of cruise. Reel them in. Whoa, AMG's weaving. I'm weaving. Uh-oh. That was close. That was really close. Are you goddamn kidding me, bro? This isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good. This is not good! Okay, I've gotta go. I've dropped all the way down to P14. I have lost my entire lead that I spent the last lap and a half catching up and I've gotta do it all again. Sent it. Boom. 18 seconds to first. If I see that BMW M6, I will punt him. P9, purple sector one. Be oh my God. Oh my God, the AI. What are you doing? The AI is genuinely trying to sabotage. I should spin out this stupid Supra too. There is another Subaru. That's brave. Oh my God, that was brave. Up to P3, break, 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 break. Okay, here we go. Up the inside, gotta go. Thank you. 
Six seconds to first. It's getting a bit sketchy out here as I'm pushing for first. Reel him in. Let's go. P1 for the 787B. You cannot stop this thing. The sun is set out here in Australia, but that's not gonna stop the unstoppable 787B. What a beautiful car. One more race to go. Welcome to the Nürburgring. We've got the full version of the Nürburgring plus the Grand Prix circuit. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I know that the sun is gonna come up, but I don't know how quickly it's gonna take. If you thought we couldn't see last time, just you wait. Let's drive on the Nürburgring with basically no headlights, they said. It would be fun, they said. They were wrong. And in this part of the circuit, there's gonna be even fewer lights. Like, there's not street lights for the Nürburgring. Okay, 28 seconds to first. Not looking bad. That was fast. That was really fast through there. Okay, Ford GT, uh oh. Guys, 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 you can't just park it in the middle of the road on the Nürburgring, it's too narrow. I'd rather be safe than sorry, as it's still dark. I can actually see the sun. The sun is coming up. Okay, I've gotta, I've gotta get there first. Here we go, come on. Mazda, ciao. Zoom zoom to you too. Um, what is the AI doing? The AI is having a party on the road. Why are they all slowing each other down? That's a nice overtake for me. I will gladly take it and break into the carousel. Safe, safe is the name of the game. Safe. Now we run. We've already overtaken everybody. Now we run. Oh my God, this 787B. It just comes alive on the Nürburgring. Wow, what a glorious car across the line. Let's go, get in there, Lewis. 150,000 credits for that race. First overall, 250,000 credits. Let's go, and they're gonna let me have one of those? Yo, I would love the Aventador. Uh, I know the Aventador is not very good to drive, but Aventador? Oh. I mean, that's, that's, that's a cool one. To be honest, that's probably the best one to drive. So I'll call that a win. Congratulations on winning the World GT Series. Thank you very much. We've got a golden trophy now. All your Gran Turismo friends are waiting for you, Nikki Poo. Congratulations. Come back and check out the lineup of car- Oh, it's just gonna- Gonna have literally everybody in the game say congratulations. How many different characters are in this game? Yo, is this Gran Turismo 7 or is it Star Wars? We have officially beat Gran Turismo 7. What a game. Wait, you guys are saying there's an update to make the roulette spins better? Okay, so I guess we'll leave the six star roulette ticket. I'll spin one of the fours. Let's just, let's just see what we get. Give me an invite to the Lambo, actually. I guess that's how we're gonna start off our spending spree. Let's go. Now that I've got all of the credits that I could possibly ask for, I want to spend 20 million credits. Oh, what should we start with? Why don't we start with the legendary car dealer? There's definitely gonna be some really expensive and really, really good cars in there. The Jaguar XJR9, it's two and a half million credits. Similarly to the 787B, this thing was a legend back in the day. So that is a dope looking car. Jaguar, get in the garage. There is a 250 GTO. I don't think we really need that though. You know what I will get? I will get this thing as well. The Nissan R92 CP. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm definitely biased towards these old Le Mans cars and Le Mans cars in general. Speaking of Le Mans cars, I think I should buy another Le Mans car. Hold on, we're going to Europe. A 919 hybrid. We've bought our old school Le Mans cars, but what about some new school? Le Mans cars. So what have we spent? We've already spent like seven mil on all of these cars. 
That's such a cool one. I love that. Twitch chat was saying I should get the Red Bull thing. Red Bull X 2019. Probably one of the craziest cars in the game. We've got to get through all of this money somehow. I feel like that's worth it. Oh, look at my helmet in there. That's so sick. We're up to level 38 already. I see some people in Twitch chat also asking for the Formula One car. We've actually got two different versions. We've got a Honda powered one and a Toyota powered one. I guess let's go for the Honda one. That's definitely like the most accurate modern Formula One car in the game. What else should I look at? Maybe, are there any crazy Hondas? Maybe an old NSX would be really cool. Half a million credits, thank you very much. I feel like the NSX does look especially good when you've got Ayrton Senna's helmet in there. Geed reminded me I should definitely go and check out the used car dealership. It's a proper tofu delivery boy. It's not really the most expensive car, but it is a legendary car in its own right. We are making the anime weebs proud today. <laughs> it's also not a very expensive car, but a, a Corvette C6 ZR1? Oof. Man, that's a good looking car. And since we're on the topic of legendary cars, legend absolute legend. A Mercedes McLaren SLR, arguably one of the best Mercedes of all time. Wait, did I just buy two NSXs? Did I not buy the older version? Please don't tell me I bought two of the same year NSX. I meant to buy this one. An Aventador is awesome. I gotta go for a big old Aventador and it's gotta be lime green. Thank you. A P1 GTR for 3.6 mil. Yes. A legendary car once again gets added into the garage. Somebody in Twitch chat said the Chaparral before. This thing's pretty crazy as well. Let's go for that. One million credits. Ooh, let's wrap this up with a Veyron. Oh. Oh, not exactly a Veyron. What a beautiful, beautiful looking car. I'm gonna buy one more car, one more car, one more car. Yo, the Lambo's crazy. I love how it's called Lamborghini Lambo V12 Vision. <laughs> what a stupid name. All right, we gotta try one of these cars out now. Let's give it a go. What a ridiculous looking car. Why is it so quiet? Whoa, whoa, where did that acceleration come from? Whoa, the brakes don't work. It feels like it's not even a little bit connected to the road. I am driving a literal spaceship. I mean, it's a spaceship that doesn't turn. And when you do turn, blocks your vision. I'm all about getting as low to the ground as possible. But when your hand does that, it does compromise your race a little bit. I wasted a million credits on that. I'm not gonna lie. That was a waste of money. Let's go, let's see. What a noise. I know people don't like Bugattis because they're basically a W16 with four turbos strapped to it. Whoa, wait, we have DRS? Whoa, look at the air brake. That air brake is sick. I can actually barely hear the thing. Like the sound is such a low engine rumble. You, you can barely hear it like over the road noise and over the wind. And I find I'm missing a lot of gear shifts because of it. Whoa, what is the AI doing? This is a good car. Oh. This was a good car. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. Okay, let's go. Bring on the engine noise. Proper race car. Whoa, the AI's not fast enough. Uh, apparently, my car is God. Wait, max 154 miles an hour? That's not correct. Okay, let's beat that 154. No way! No way the dial actually works! 162.3 we did just then. Come on, beat 162. I'm not gonna break. No brakes. Yes! 180! But I died! <laughs> So not only did we beat Gran Turismo 7 today, but we've also got the best lineup of cars we've ever had. 